few weeks ago, I gave my viewers a quick look at how I organize all my puzzles. Some viewers commented that they would like to get a closer look at the various brands that I have. So that's what I'm going to do today is share with you what's in my collection. And I'm going to start off with White Mountain Puzzles. Hi, I'm Sandra from The Puzzling Canadian and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to shine the spotlight on White Mountain Puzzles. Now, if you are a big fan of White Mountain Puzzles, then you'll get to take a look at what I have in my collection, which includes some rare discontinued puzzles that are sometimes very hard to find. And if you've never done this brand, then you get to see what kind of variety they have and learn a little bit more about it. And if you stay to the end of the video, then I will reveal what's my all time favorite White Mountain Puzzle. Before we take a deep dive into my collection, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to see more of brands from my collection, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. When I say white mountain puzzles, most people immediately associate this brand with collages. And it's true. They make a variety of lovely collages with all different types of themes. But when I started puzzling in 2020, I was immediately drawn to this brand because of their large pieces, along with their lovely landscaped images. And I particularly liked their nostalgic images also. Um, it is a larger puzzle. So when it's finished, it will be take up a little bit more space. I think it's about 24 by 30 inches. This puzzle behind me is a white mountain puzzle. So you can see it's larger, a little bit larger than this one, but I'll also show you with this. This is a hay puzzle. And if I put it like right in the middle, you can see a little border that's right here around there. So it will need some more puzzling space. I've done many white mountain puzzles over the years, but I prefer to do images. And I also enjoy hunting for those rare discontinued white mountain puzzles. This summer, I was very fortunate to find one of these rare discontinued puzzles not far from me. And when I saw it come up on Facebook marketplace, I immediately had to go pick it up. So the one that I found and I've completed recently is called blue heron and friends. It's a 2008 puzzle by Lori Shorey. And if you take, I'm not sure if you can see, take a look at this box. It's a 2008 puzzle, but there's hardly any scratches or dents. It looks like it was a new puzzle and um, the pieces were in mint condition. So it looked like it may have been just completed once or twice. And then I ended up purchasing it. So I was really fortunate. I was drawn to this image because of the tropical feel. Um, I love a beach scene. So it Im immediately captured my attention and I loved the variety of colors. So there's florals, there's some nice blues, there's the green from the trees. Um, but as I began working on it, it did not look easy as it appeared. So I did the edges first and then I tried to pick an area. I was like kind of stumped. I didn't know which area to pick first. I think I tried the trees or the florals. Um, I thought the florals would be easy, but then there's a lot of repetitive color, a lot of greens, a lot of pinks. Once I finished the florals and everything at the bottom, then I went to the blue heron and then what was left? was blue ocean and blue sky. And I could tell you that blue sky took quite a while. But even though there were times where I felt very stuck, I really found this puzzle very enjoyable. And I think it had to simply do because of the image. And again, I love the quality. Now this is a 2008 puzzle. So White Mountain on this puzzle here, White Mountain has different, uh, I'm not sure if it's called cuts or use, maybe they use different, uh, manufacturing companies because sometimes I'll get a white mountain puzzle currently and it'll have a purple backing. I've done ones that have a, a teal green and these older ones are just like a, a brown cardboard. And that's what this one was. And I have to say, this is an older puzzle. And when I put the pieces in, sometimes they, if I, my hand hit it, it would move. They don't snap in as, as, snug as the current puzzles do. Now you snap in a piece of a white mountain puzzle that maybe is current in the last, I would say five years and it stays together. It is very sturdy, but I find some of these older ones from the early two thousands. I'm not sure who was manufacturing at the time or the way they were doing it. Some of the pieces were a little bit looser. So that's what I found with this one. Overall, I really enjoyed this image, even though it was a little bit tricky at times. And what I do with most of my rare discontinued puzzles is I post them on eBay 
This one is on eBay right now. It's mid-October and it'll be there till Sunday. And, and this is what I've done in the past with some of my rare ones. And some of the rare puzzles that I have done in the past include Peace and Love, The Big Apple, Eagle Lake, Hawaii, and When Life Gives You Lemons. Those are just a few of them that I have done. So now let me share with you a few more of those rare discontinued puzzles, White Mountain puzzles that I have in my collection. So here's one that I know that is, is hard to find. It's a 2010 puzzle called Lucky Strike. Um, I like this one because it's, it's a nice little collage on bowling. So again, I don't do many collages, but this one, um, was just really nice. Here's one that I found brand new um, in Canada and I did it while I was browsing Facebook Marketplace and usually I change my location so that I can see other provinces in Canada and I found this one I think near Winnipeg, Manitoba. So it is brand new. You can see it's still and it is called, what's it called? I think it's called Classic, oh Cruising Classics. So I just, this is one with that nostalgic feel that I liked. And the gentleman there was very kind to ship it to me. I have a few of them that are map puzzles. So this is one here that I've never seen before. I thought it was very interesting. Key West. Um, I haven't been to Key West, but uh, it's a 2012 puzzle. And I don't know who the artist is in this one here. It doesn't really say but I just thought it was quite unique. So I added that to my collection. This one here is called Great Explorers World Map. Now this, these type of maps tend to be a little bit tricky, but I, I wanted the challenge and it's a nice image. So these next ones, I'm not sure if you'd be called very rare, um, but they are sometimes hard to find. And um, the first one I have here is Pastry Shop. So this one is from 2007, so from the early 2000s, uh, a different storefront image. So I like that one. Uh, this one here by Steve Chris, Spring Kittens, cute little image. I haven't seen this one before, so I decided to pick it up. This one here I recently just picked up, I think a few weeks ago. I found it. It's called To the Lighthouse. And... I seem to be drawn to images that have lighthouse lighthouses. This one here again has been in my pile for a little, a little bit. Grandpa watches the kids, Kevin Walsh, another artist that I like. So a cute little, a little image. And this one here was from 2008. And this last one, it took me a while to find, but I finally did. And it looks like it's in pretty good condition. The box is pretty new there. Steve Crisp, another street, Steve Crisp puzzle, Summer Village. So now I'm going to show you a few collages that I have in my pile. I have this one here. I love music. And so anything musical theme I seem to pick up. And I like these ones. See how they're like um, sectioned off. Uh, White Mountain makes some of those collage puzzles like 1980s, 1990s. I did do one of those before. I think it was called Diva. I didn't find those very enjoyable. It was a very busy puzzle, but ones like this that are kind of sectioned off, I, I do enjoy those ones. So I have, I love music. And here's one that's also sometimes hard to find. Um, that's Amore and by Louis T. Johnson, all about pizza and Italian food. So again, another puzzle that's sectioned off in squares. And I really like this one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna give this away. I might end up keeping this one in my, to, in my collection. And this one here I found during the pandemic called Great Whiskies. It was quite popular. We do, I do see them pop up on Facebook every now and then. And this one will probably take me a while because of all the yellow and orange will be very similar. Once I complete a White Mountain puzzle, I usually sell it or I trade it. But every once in a while I come across an image that I just truly love and I know I'm gonna do again down the road. So I keep it in my collection. So I'm gonna share with you some of those that I have. This one here is Vintage Records by Steve Crisp. And I love the nostalgic look here. It's one of my favorites. Another beach image that I love, Happy Hour. Very tropical. Here's a collage, one that I like to keep, called Exotic Places. This one was fun. I enjoyed this one. I have another Steve Crisp. It seems to be I keep a lot of Steve Crisp puzzles in my collection. Let's Dance. A fun one. And again, another dancing one called Dancing at the Diner, Steve Crisp. 
So now that you've taken a closer look at what I have in my White Mountain collection, let me know your feedback about this brand. Do you love this brand? Do you stay away from it? Uh, do you enjoy their collages or their images? Have you done some of their rare discontinued puzzles? I'd love to hear back from you. Just leave a comment down below. Out of the many, many White Mountain puzzles that I've completed over the last three years, it's very difficult just to pick one favorite, but I tried to do that. I went back and looked at my Instagram account. And I have to say, if I was to pick one favorite that was truly enjoyable and that I loved, it would be this one here, Let's Dance by Steve Crisp. Um, I just love this nostalgic image. And I have to say, it probably has to do with the beautiful colors that was in this image. I would have to say that one was my top favorite. Second runner up, I would think, would be um, Vintage Records. That would be one also that I had a good time assembling. If you wanted to see more brands from my puzzle collection, please leave a comment below and don't forget to mention which brands you are interested in taking a closer look. Thank you for taking the time to view this video and until next time, happy puzzling.